Okay, today I'm covering 6.5 multiplying polynomials. Uh, so, like we've already learned about polynomials, the multiple terms. So, we're going to have uh, two poly polynomials that each have two terms and we're going to multiply. And this works with more than two terms also. And basically, the first term has to go to every term and the other term. And then the second term has to go to every term. And the way we're going to do that is using the box method. It, help us, it helps us keep everything organized. So I would take the two polynomials. I got x and minus 3. And then in the other one, I have 4x and minus 5. Draw my little boxes, and that would be my first step. And then in my second step, inside the boxes, you can go ahead and write this out. I don't always write this out, but I will to show you what we're doing here. We're going to multiply the x times the 4x, then the negative 3 times the 4x, x times negative 5, and then the negative 3 times the negative 5. So as you see, every term gets multiplied together. So when I multiply the 4x times x, I get 4x squared. Negative 3 times 4x gives me negative 12x. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. And then negative 3 times negative 5, well, negative negative makes a positive 15. Now, once I get all that filled in, I can, I'm going to write out my terms. So my first term is 4x squared. Second term is minus 12x. Third term is going to be minus 5x. And then my last term is going to be plus 15. And what you notice here, my two middle terms are going to be like terms. And when you do this box method, these diagonal ones are going to be the like terms. When I go, so I have to combine those. So I bring down my first term, 4x squared, negative, negative. The signs are the same. Keep the signs, so that means it's going to be negative. And since the signs are the same, you add them. So I get 17x. Bring down my plus 15. Done. Okay, I'm going to be doing two examples. Please get this written on your note page. Oh, this is uh, page 74, page 74. Okay, so I'm going to do two examples. So here I'm going to have 3x plus 1 and then x minus 8. And draw my box. I don't always draw the box actually, but I am today. So I do my 3x times x. I get 3x squared. Then I do my 1 times x, and I get x. And I go to my bottom row. 3 times negative 8 gives me a negative 24x. And then negative 8 times 1 is a negative 8. My like terms are diagonal. I'm going to write it out. So I got my 3x squared plus x minus 24x, those are my like terms, minus 8. And you're, and you're going to see this pattern. 
the first and last term we normally just bring down. So I'm going to bring down my 3x squared. Signs are different, so I'm going to subtract them. Keep the sign of the bigger number. 24 is bigger, so it's going to be negative. 24 minus 1 is 23. And bring down my minus 8. My answer. Okay, now when I do this one, I'm not going to actually draw the box. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the first one, so 3 times 2 is 6. The 2 is negative, 3 is positive, so it's going to be a negative. B times B squared is going to be B. Remember, we have to add the exponents. 1 plus 2 is 3. <clears throat> then I'm going to do negative, I mean, positive 5B times 3B. That gives me a plus 15. B, 1 plus 1 is 2, so it is squared. And then I'm going to do 3B times negative 1. Signs are different, so it's a negative. 3 times 1 is 3, and then I bring the B. Next row. Negative 4 times negative 2 is a positive 8. B squared. Negative 4 times positive 5. Signs are different, so it's going to be negative. 4 times 5 is 20. Bring the B. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. Now again, you're going to notice these guys out of diagonal, they're the like terms. So when I go to write them out, you'll see it. So, I'm going to write them all out. My first term is negative 6b cubed. Now, when I write them out, I want to write them out so that I keep my like terms together. So, my next term is going to be plus 15b squared. The next one I'm going to write is plus 8b squared. I just want to keep them together. Then I'm going to have negative 3b minus 20b. And then my final term is going to be plus 4. So I'm going to combine all my like terms. And just like on the previous one, we got more terms on this one, but still. First and last term are going to come straight down, so I'll bring down my negative 6b cubed. I'm going to combine the b squared terms, so 15 plus 8 plus 23b squared. Now I'm going to combine the b's, so I got a negative 3b and a negative 20b. Signs are the same, so I keep the sign, so it's going to be negative. Since the signs were the same, I'm going to add. So 20 plus 3 is 23b. And then I bring down my last term, plus 4. And that is how you multiply polynomials.